Hey, I wanted to explain something. I'm sure you might notice that uh, there may not be as many ads. I'm not really sure how the, the ad situation works on YouTube, but basically I was released from my contract today. Basically a free agent right now. I went ahead and I already applied with Curse, but I imagine it's going to take a while. From what I know about Curse is they don't do direct deposit. They just pay you through PayPal, very similar to what Patreon does. Uh, you know, Pat Patreon can do direct deposit, but I'm pretty sure most people just do PayPal to, uh, you know, kind of remove the middleman and stuff like that, just get the money right away. That's what I do with my Patreon. So I don't know how long it will take. Uh, they said that they pay at the 10th of every month, so I don't know if I'll even get any revenue from them at all this month. If I do, it'll probably be like two bucks. But uh, basically next month, assuming that everything goes smoothly, uh, I'll be with Curse Maybe sometime this month, but uh, you know, next month for sure. It's only the second today, so I assume it's going to be done this month. Now, it's going to be kind of interesting for me because I'm planning on seeing my friends again in August if uh, everything works out on my end. So I don't know what's going to happen with Basara. It's going to be a kind of interesting. Like I might be, uh, I might get the most of the returns from Basara like by the time I'm like just barely done recording since they were they uh pay at the beginning of the month or like kind of the towards the middle of the month so for now uh i'm not going to be spending much more on the channel uh, like the next thing that i'm going to do for sure is i'm going to pay off the pc bill i might get some credit on knights of valor but the problem with that game is the grind for uh promoting your characters is just really soul crushing it reminds me a lot of old school dfo like all the equipment and stuff and items you needed to get to awaken your character it's just the difference with knights of valor is that there's no auction house there's no trading whatsoever you have to grind out everything by yourself like in a lot of other games that have requirements like that to progress your character they have trading but at knights of valor they don't so you just have to straight grind or use the cash shop to uh pay for the the rage rabbit levels or whatever they are and you can get a bunch of materials that way I think it's pretty dumb. As much as I enjoy playing the game, it, it's kind of uh, the reality setting in that I probably would have to spend quite a bit to get those materials for my other characters without driving myself insane. So I might take a break from that for a while. The good news is uh, I used the Patreon money this month to get God Eater Resurrection on Vita. So uh, I'll probably be playing that quite a bit on stream, working on some DFO stuff as well. What other, other random Steam games I have? So that's what's going on this month. Pretty low key. Like I said, uh, I just got released from my contract this morning, so I don't know how long it's going to take. Uh, last time, when I was with my last network, it took several weeks, but a lot of that was just doing the, the, you know, preparations and stuff for getting the direct deposit. You had to send in your tax forms and all this other crap. I don't know if you had to do that with Curse or not. Uh, I'm assuming that the process might be a little more expedited, simply because uh, they don't do direct deposit whatsoever. They only do PayPal. I will keep you guys posted uh, once it does happen, or if it does happen, I'll let you guys know. We'll go from there. So like I said, uh, this month's probably going to be Knights of Valor, but I may or may not be uh, playing that at a decreased frequency. <laughs> uh, I do have a bunch of characters, it's just that I, I feel like if I grind them all out, I'll get to that same brick wall, and uh, I don't have the cash to buy those, those uh, carrots right now that give you the items faster. I don't mind spending money on free-to-play games. I've definitely spent way more on DFO than I ever have on Knights of Valor. It's just that for the time being, I really don't have the uh, the disposable income to do that. So I might be taking a break from that. If you want some guides for the game, for things that I haven't covered, you should check out Grow870 on YouTube. Uh, he's put out a lot of really nice comprehensive guides for the game. He knows more about the game than I do. Uh, I, I think he found the game from my videos back in like February or March, but we played it a lot more than I did because I had Californathon and uh, all kinds of other stuff that was going on at the time. So go check him out. Uh, if you started the game because of me, uh, he has a lot of other guides. I assume he'll be putting up much more too. Now you can head over there. I will still be playing the game, but uh, I'm kind of at a crossroads right now. It's like I could level up my other characters, but if they're all going to get stuck at that brick wall, then I don't know if it's even worth my time at this point. Uh, I might just get SSX up to that point, and then maybe I'll just leave the other characters as they are until I can afford to get those carrots. And they're pretty cheap. I think you can get five of them with one, like, 500 card or something like that. 
which I think is like $18, which I guess is not that bad. I, I'm pretty sure you can get most of the uh, the materials you can get you need with that, but <laughs> I'm not really sure. So that's what's going on now. Wish me luck with the new partnership, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. I may or may not put up something every day. I, I might just uh, chill out for a while and see what's going on with the new partnership and the approval and stuff like that, and then we'll go from there. Catch you guys later. Peace.